Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, my name is Teresa. I want to say a big thank you to Saints Angel Sinners and the lovely Smink Berriowinda who sent me this fabulous palette. It is the Follow Your Dreams palette and it looks a little something like this. It is a grungy, beautiful dream and there's some fabulous duochromes in there. So... Yeah, um, if you want to see how I made this look, if you want to see some swatches, you know you do, and you want to see what my overall review of this palette is, then fantastic. This is the review for you, do please keep on watching. That's right lads, I'm here with a full face of makeup and I have yet to do swatches. <gasps> oh I know, let's do swatches on a face of makeup. Fuck it, let's do it lads. I mean let's be real. The fringe is so helpful for me, it hides all of the terrible, terrible creases. But let's get on to actually swatching this. If any of you think that this does not somehow accentuate the look, you are wrong, my friends. Oh my god. Um, this shade, obviously I have it on my lid, as you'll see later, but this shit, oh my god. I like that I put it on my lips, so therefore I can do the You can see the different shifts that it has, and also the fact that I have some very weird facial <laughs> movements, but you can see, uh, hopefully, that that shade, it is quite a bit different, isn't it? Oh, yes, I'm here for it, look. These shades, these shimmers, chef's kids. But anyways, if you wanna see how I did the eye look, that is the next bit. Fret not, my little chickadees. Can I just say that I'm really appreciating how low effort of a look this is? Sometimes I need that. But anyways, let's get into using the Follow Your Dreams palette. It's a nice one. So I'm just taking this BH Cosmetics 106 brush and I'm going into the shade Mystery. Now this is one of the darkest shades that's actually in the palette. I'd actually say it is the darkest. There is no black in the palette, which I know my girl Tia is like, why, why are there no black? However, I don't really think it needs it in this case. Don't come for me, Tia. I think it actually performs pretty darn well. And yeah, I went for a very like low key look today because I'll be honest with you lads, I'm not in the best form. So I was like, well, let's just play with makeup and generally enjoy what we're at. And I have to say, I am enjoying this. I mean, look at the pigment on that. Like I am very lightly touching, as hopefully you can see, and I'm getting a decent amount of pigment on that. And don't worry, that's for future Teresa to sort out. But you can see, it gives you a really nice amount of colour. And it's not like this is like a, a brush that will give you a massive amount of pigment. I'm literally just laying it down here for future generations, some might say. And then, because I can't be arsed to wash a shit ton of brushes, I'm using the exact same one again that's gone through the colour switch. And I'm going into the shade Imagination, which I get, it's ironic because I have none. But what I'm doing is I'm just kind of going here a little bit further than I did with the darker shade Mystery and bringing it under where Mystery was here. And again, you can see this shade very, very pigmented as well. It's such a grungy palette. Now, obviously this was made by, uh, well, not made by, but it was part of a collaboration with Smink Berriowenda, which I'm really hoping I pronounced properly because I am Irish and she's Swedish. So, you know, but um, if you look at her makeup style, oh, oh, it's a bit of me. Like, well, I say it's a bit of me. I wish I was that, like, talented. But she has this, like, amazing, like, she's not afraid to glue things to herself. And if you know me, that's sort of where I am with things. She also loves a bit of, like, graphic liner and she just loves these grungy tones. So this palette, in all, makes a huge amount of sense for her. I have to say, I think, between her and Saints Angel Sinners, I think they did a really nicely executed collaboration in this instance. And yes, I know the lines are harsh, just like me. And then I'm taking this brush again, and I'm going into the shade 
hope. Which honestly, for a pessimist for me, going into something called hope, I'm like, oh, I don't know how I feel about that. So again, I'm just like following the exact same sort of thing that I was doing before. Just going underneath here. Do I have a bit of fallout? Yeah, but you know what? That's grand. I started putting my concealer on like just beforehand. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out how to do a nice base. But I will also point out that my skin has been problematic of late. So I don't know why I turned into a Professor McGonagall there. But uh, there you go. Enjoy, lads. Enjoy. Again, really nice pigment on this. And when I was looking at this yellow, I don't know what it is with me and eyeshadow palettes lately. I'm like, that would make a nice blush. It's like, Teresa, it's for your fucking eyes. Stop putting shit onto your face. And then I'm like, can't help it. I have problems. And then I'm taking this blank canvas E10 because I'm a lazy bitch and I am just putting it down here in an attempt to blend these together. Now, again, there is a little bit of a harsh line, but that's because I made it that way. Uh, but you do see that they do blend together pretty darn well. Like you can see I haven't been blending for very long because I'm a lazy bitch and don't want to blend for very long. Because I do actually just want to sit in front of the telly and stare into the void, you know? Such is my want and such is my prerogative. And then I'm taking this BH Cosmetics Small Precision Brush and I'm literally just going back and forth like this. Don't worry, like this doesn't like blend it out massively. This is where I'm gonna come in with a bigger brush later on. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Um, actually, that is a completely different point, not even slightly related, but I'm in the midst of writing a book and I really liked that I did start off one of my chapters. It, it is, by the way, like an academic textbook uh, with we're gonna need a bigger boat. So um this is what happens when you're an idiot and you're allowed to write books so you'll see it slightly blended out but nothing major i'm using this melt i believe is it the transition oh no it's a meshla brush bear with me i'm using that brush and i'm going into the shade hope and i'm just bringing that out towards the kind of edge of the well, face let's be real and just Swish it, swish it. Again, I'm a lazy bitch. I'm using the same brush again and I'm going into imagination. And I'm just loving the grungy khaki green of that. Like that appeals to my little spirit, my soul. I love the way these blend together. They look really, really nice. But then again, you know, I am very, very biased on this. I have been like annoying poor Smink. Um, which isn't her name, but like in my mind she's Smink because that's what I see like on her Instagram. But like I message her every so often just being like, hi, be my friend. Um, Cause you know, I have the social skills of a toddler, so enjoy. And same brush again. You can see there's a pattern here, Lazy Teresa, going into mystery. And I am just popping that there and doing swishy swishy. I mean, look at that. Look at the way that that blends with the rest. Oh, I love this. I know that these sort of grungy tones aren't to everyone's aesthetic, but like they're to mine and isn't that all that really, really matters in this particular instance? Oh, I love that. And welcome back to me being lazy. So I'm taking the blank canvas E10 and I'm going into the shade Hope. And I say that I'm lazy because I'm just gonna keep using this brush like all along here and I'm not doing a proper cut crease because again, lazy. I'm just popping that there again. You're getting a nice amount of pigmentation there. It's not causing me any major hassles there and getting that to come up, which, hurrah! And then same brush again, and I'm going into Courage, which just makes me think of Courage the Cowardly Dog. I don't know if anyone is the same age as me, and they remember that. Like, that was such an odd, like, cartoon. Like, semi-disturbing? Well, mind you, most of childhood of the 90s was a bit odd. But, oh, look at that meshes really well like it's such an unusual color story like when you initially look at it you kind of go okay I see the grunge and there's like pops of like red and orange and purple and like blue and you're like wait what am I meant to do with this this friends this is what you can do with it I mean you don't have to do this but this is just just an example and same brush again going into lucid dreams and again just bringing that down here I've heard so much about lucid dreaming um but I've never been like with it enough to like actually bother trying to learn how to do it. So that's a pointless fact about me. I think a lot about things and then don't do them. So you're welcome. 
And then, in the shock that came to absolutely nobody, using the exact same brush again, I'm going into Figment. I'm just popping that there. Again, you're seeing a really nice, like, I thought it said pigment because obviously I don't have my glasses on. And I was like, that is aptly named because there is a decent pigment on this. Well, more than decent, but I'm Irish, so we don't, like, say, like, oh, amazing. Like, we don't really tend to trip over ourselves in that sense. Salt lads, that's just how we are. And then I'm taking this BH106 and I'm going into figment again. And I'm bringing it just down here, kind of under the lash line. And having it meet where I had hope before. <laughs> where I had hope before. And to be fair, that feels apt. You know, I'm a 32 year old woman. <laughs> where I had hope before. In my 20s. That was when I had hope before. And I'm just gonna take that like Morphe brush again and I'm just gonna sweep it just along there. Super, super simple. Now I'm just taking this blank canvas brush and I'm going in with some glitter glue. And I've always said that the Too Faced one is my favorite, but then I just realized the other day they discontinued this. Why? And yet they have like more unnecessary fucking chocolate bar nonsense. Like, well lads, get your shit together. As you can see, I was too lazy to do a proper cut crease. Uh, you can judge me in your own time lads, not on mine. So, good luck with that. And oh my God, when I tell you these shimmers, like the first shimmer I'm gonna put on, you wait and see there's a duochrome sort of a reflect. Ugh, it makes me both sad and happy. Sad because I'm like, why does everyone not have this? But um, happy because I'm like, ha ha ha, I have it. And isn't that all that really matters? So taking the much loved NYX silicone applicator and I'm going into the shade Fantasy. Oh sweet merciful Zeus, like this is perfection. There's like these bluey green, look it's like a duochrome. And I know these don't turn up very well on the camera, but you're just gonna have to take it from me because I need to get better camera skills, um, but also whatever. But this is fucking amazing. Oh. Oh, that's pretty. There's like a green, blue, purple sort of a shift to it. I'd actually just pop that all over the lid all by itself. I think that's gorgeous. Then, using the exact same one again, and this time I'm going into Dreamer. And I'm just popping that here. Again, really lovely pigment on this. This has like a, a lilac-y, silvery, pinky tone to it. Just generally, do you know what, right? I think this is what does it for me with this palette is these shimmers. Like, and I'm not saying that the mattes aren't great, they are. You can see they blend really, really well. But the shimmers are what would make me give up an internal organ for this palette, you know? Then I'm going into Wanderlust again with the exact same brush. Though, can I technically call it a brush? Who knows? And I'm just popping that there. Again, you're getting a really nice pigment from it. Smack that in there, lads. And then same one again, and I'm going into a Utopia, which is this one here. And again, are you surprised when I say, oh, sweet merciful Zeus, the gorgeous, look at that. A beautiful tealy blue sort of a shade. And again, the pigment on it, fab you -less. Now I'm just gonna take this petite fan from Zoeva, and I'm going into the shade Harmony. Now, this one is a little bit chunky, so beware. But I'm just popping that there. And again, I think this is one I'm gonna to have to use just by itself on the lid because that is spectacular. It's that grungy, sort of a green, but there's like goldy reflex in it. Yeah, I'm here for it. And now it's just for the blending. I am taking a Morphe M562 and I'm just going back and forward. and just blending it along the lid here. I do just like having all of the colors meshed together. And yes, I know it's it's messy and I didn't do a proper cut crease, uh, but you can tell on me to the appropriate authorities. Don't know who that would be. Maybe like, you know, Welsh twins. Robert Welsh is just like, she did not do the cut crease in the proper way. 
She is hereby excommunicated from the beauty community. And then I'm just taking a Spectrum B07 and I'm going back into the shade Mystery. And I'm just popping that there just to kind of get the two of those to mesh so it's a little bit more of a, a clean transition. And in case you're wondering what liner I have on, I'm sure you will be absolutely shocked to discover that it's the Artitude uh, Split It Painters palette. I know. Like, I never used that at all. It's so unusual for me. But yeah, that is it. It's super, super simple today because I just cannot and be arsed, I believe is the, the correct term. But anyways, I'll come back, show you what it all looks like together and I'll tell you what I think of the palette. So you know me, I couldn't really resist using some of the shades with blushes and I obviously went for a hope, but I also used a little bit of stargaze as well. But let's get into the actual eye look and I will zoom you in now so you can see what it looked like. And obviously I was summoning my inner smink by gluing things to myself. I just couldn't resist it. And I also saw that she did a look with this palette where she had like um, a lilac sort of a liner and she did like a little curl like that. So I was like, well, if it's good enough for her, it is good enough for me. But yeah, I think the duochromes in particular, hmm, beautiful. Okay, friends, that is it. So let us talk about this palette. Look, this color story totally appeals to me. There's a bit of grungy goodness. There's some bright kind of shades in there as well. Now I know a lot of people are gonna be a bit miffed, I'm thinking about you Tia, about the lack of black, but I think in this you're kind of okay because you have this shade here. Although, you know, let's be real, a lot of us have our own like single black, so we're okay. Uh, the mattes performed ah, beautifully. Where it stands out is in these sort of shades, like the shade Fantasy, um, Harmony, Dream. Look, any of the shimmery, duochrome metallic metallicy goodness, that's where the palette I think really kind of just shows its edge. I think if I was to give one critique, I think the shades Courage and Blessed are a little bit too similar to each other. Maybe they could have been like a smidge different, maybe make this one a little bit deeper or something, or that one deeper, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I don't make the palettes, I just critique them. Uh, so it's always easier to critique than it is to make, but I think this is fabulous. If you like this color story, then, you're gonna enjoy this palette. I think it performed really, really well. But anyways, that is it. I would say I would give this mm, probably a 9.5 out of 10. Now, the reason why I'm taking the 0.5 off is I feel there maybe could have been a black in there and I think maybe Blessed could have been either darker or lighter. Choose whichever one. I don't make palettes. I just critique them. So much easier from this side of the creativity realm. But anyways, that is it. I believe Smink has a code for some money off, so I'm going to put that down below. So a big thank you to Smink and to Darcy from Saints Angel Sinners for sending me on this palette. It is very much treasured. I'm going to be playing with those dual crumbs a little bit more. Like I'm just going to clock that on the eyes and, and be done with it. But anyways, lad, that is it. You've heard enough of me rambling on. So a big thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, do please like, comment and subscribe. And do please share because sharing is caring. Unless, of course, it's an STD, in which case, you know, wrap it up. Don't be gross. But that's it. That is the end of the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.